All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. These are the new instructional videos for my class. If you guys so choose, you can definitely follow along and you can learn. This is what I'm teaching some of my first year and some of my second year and so on and so forth class, how to basically understand and do things the correct way. Now, we're gonna go and we're gonna learn how to strip wires. I already did a video on how to make hooks on wires. We're gonna go over the very basics of the Strippers here, this is the pair that I have. Two sides on your strippers. One side is for solid wire, one side is for stranded wire. Keep in mind, if you're in my class, almost all the time we will only be using solid wire. Not saying we will never use stranded wire, but for our demonstrations, for our trainers, we're always using Romex, which always has solid wire in it. So keep in mind, one side is for solid, one side is for stranded. Uh, it starts at, 18 gauge for the solid and goes all the way to 10, 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10. The other side is for stranded wires, which is 20, 18, 16, 14, and 12. Keep that in mind, it's important. I see the wrong stripper hole used a lot. I'm gonna be stripping that 12 gauge wire and I'm making the perfect wire joint. I've done a video years ago because I've seen so many people not do it right. I'm not saying mine is the only way to do it. I'm saying mine is the easiest way so you guys will always know exactly how long to make it. So your wire net will always, always go on these and always cover. That's the main thing you wanna make sure you do. Another thing you wanna make sure you do is you never use the wire net to twist your wires. In my class, I will fail you. You will lose all your points every day until you do it the way I'm showing you. I don't care what you do after you leave my class in the real world, but I will show you that shortcuts will get you hurt. This will prevent loose connections. You will have many people probably comment under here saying, no, I'm wrong. But I will tell you, I've been in the field a long time and I've seen many wires fail, all right? Because they weren't twisted, only with a wire nut. That is a no-go in my class. It should be a no-go for life. So remember what we're gonna do. Put the 12 gauge in the right size hole. Now, if you want to know more about the strippers, you can look at my hooks uh, video and you can see it. But basically, these little holes right here, that's how you strip your wires. Or that's how you turn hooks on your wires. And these are screw cutters. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect wire joint. So stick around. Like I said, this is going to be an informative video. There's talking in it because this is more for instructional for my students. So if you don't like this, please just Keep your comments to yourself. This is mainly for my students so they understand. This is not for debate on I'm talking too much because I am talking too much. But this is important stuff. So let's come down here and I'll show you. One of your main things you want to do when you strip wires, I don't care if you strip it this long or if you strip it the correct length. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to strip at two different lengths so I can show you what I'm talking about. The main thing you need to make sure you do when you are twisting your wires is keep these two pieces of insulation. Insulation is not the copper. Insulation is the PVC jacket on here. You want to make sure that they are lined up no matter how long they are. You see these are two different lengths as you see, but the insulations are lined up almost perfect. All right. Another easy thing to do, very easy thing to do. I see my students trying to twist the wires like this. All right, you see they're keeping the wire straight. You can do the same thing in a box. You can do the same thing in a panel, anywhere. All you need to do is line up your insulations, turn a right angle on it so you have it look like this, like a seven. Keep the insulation lined up. As you see, mine is still lined up. It ain't gotta be exactly perfect, but it's gotta be really close like that. You see how close that is? You see how perfect that is? Then all you gotta do is hold it, take your clines, and twist it. I'm gonna show you right here. Do you see the insulation still is intact? It's still exactly where it was when I first started out, and I have a right angle on here, a left angle, whatever you wanna say, it doesn't matter. Just make it look like that. It's so much easier. You can do the same thing in a box, like I mentioned. There's no reason to fight this. Do it as easy as possible. Make this as easy on yourself as humanly possible. 
Keep twisting. I told my students, if you have a twist all the way down here, I'm not too worried about it. I would much rather it be very tight than very loose. The best way, let me clear some area out here. The best way to make sure that you are cutting this the correct length every single time is if you take a pair of clines, this width right here is exactly perfect for the exact perfect wire joint. What I mean by that is the cutter is right here on your clines. The opening is right here. So you want to have the cutter facing away from you. So if you're standing like this, where my back's to me, the open part is facing me, the cutter is facing that way. What we're going to do is we're going to take our clines just like this, and we are going to put them in there so the insulation is right up against the cutter head. And you have the excess over here. If you do it the other way, and you put the cutter up against the insulation, you're cutting all your wire off. So you don't want to do that. So keep the cutter away from you. So when you turn it, it's to your right. Or if you're left-handed, it'll probably be to your left. But this is how I do it. I keep the insulation just right at the cutter. That makes sense? Or not the cutter, but the open part. So you see the insulation and you see the copper. That is perfect. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it. So you're gonna squeeze it. And that is the perfect length for a wire nut to go on. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. Now you will have people telling you all your life that what I just did is not the fastest way. But I will tell you, it is the most secure way. They say, a lot of people say, you can just use your wire nut and twist. I'm here to tell you, again, if you're just tuning in, if you do that in my class, you will fail. All right, so I wanna show you, this is the perfect wire joint. So if you put this wire nut on, all your copper, of course you'll put it on tighter, but all your copper is covered. If you put this wire nut on, all your copper is covered. If you put this wire nut on, all your copper is covered. Even the yellow, all the copper is covered. So that is the perfect wire joint. And when you're done, you just fold it out. And now you have a straight joint and you're ready to go. Push it back in the box and call it a day. All right, that's how I want you to do it. Remember, this width Klein has already thought about it. I don't know if they really thought about it, but I thought about it, and this is the perfect width for a wire joint. So, there you go. Twist your wires. Always twist your wires. I know what the wire nut bag says, but I'm telling you, if you're in this class, or any of my classes in the future, or around me, and you don't twist, and you're on my job, I will fire you. I don't care how good of an electrician you are. This is your weakest link right here. Any splices that you make is your weakest link. You wanna make it as tight as possible so there's no issues ever, okay? Anytime you compromise any wire, it's your weakest link. So, if you wanna see how to make hooks on receptacles and how to correctly bend them using your strippers, definitely check right up here in this corner, right there, and you will see the video coming up, all right? That is a very informative video. It's another talking video, but it's important that you guys understand this. If you like what you see, like it, subscribe. God bless, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.